global something i didn't see yesterday hey what's up everybody and welcome back to spaceship crypto my name is elizabeth howard and today i'm going to talk about bit global we were listed on there yesterday and man was i wrong i was dead wrong i found out that it is a korean exchange a korean centralized exchange and for it being a korean based exchange Man, we have a lot to go over, so don't forget to stay tuned to the end of this video, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe, share this video, and follow me on all my links that I have posted in the description box below. Also, followed by Vault Inu links, so don't forget to check those out. But let's jump into Bit Global and why I think it's important that we're listed on there, and Korea, what they have to do with crypto, and of course, Vault Inu News, and then we'll check the chart. Okay, so Korea is the leading country of crypto. Yes, you heard me right. They have at least 20 to 30% of their population uses cryptocurrency. South Koreans have always been early to emerging technologies, which is very true, and they are leading, actually, the metaverse also they have ns lab over there they're the leading source of the metaverse so if they're the leading source of the metaverse you can guarantee that you can trust that they have emerging technologies it's so true if you guys have seen my other videos i'm also covering a metaverse project which i love i I mean, I love it. I love the metaverse and that's my niche. I love it. So I'm going to talk about the metaverse also along with cryptocurrency because it does go hand in hand. Well, South Korea was responsible for more than 30% of all crypto trading activities in the world. That is huge. That's really big. That's a huge number. Now, over here, here's another report. South Korea crypto tax. Okay, now they went up in their crypto tax in January. Now they went up because they know how many people use cryptocurrency. But guess what? In further reports, these people don't care because it went up. It tripled in crypto holders since 2019. Now this report came out on September 14th of this year. So it is up to date. Now the rise in number of crypto investors, it says right here, the percentage of cryptocurrency investors, and they're in their 20s and 30s, has increased from 23.7% at the end of 2019, or 2022 now, to 35.7% by the end of last year. So imagine how many people have joined this year. Um, you can't fully get a report all the way in 2022 yet right because like we're not done with the year so anyway you can guarantee korea knows what's up in the digital market they are leading the way with crypto and technology the metaverse which is huge you guys already know the metaverse is a big big deal for them to even have you need to do your research on ns lab ns lab is amazing i've been hearing a lot about korea lately a lot so let's check out the exchange 24 hour volume and keep in mind when you see these numbers don't ever ever underestimate <laughs> the power of this exchange the reason why i like this exchange a lot though is because of the things that we just went over you can guarantee they're not going anywhere and you can guarantee that they are definitely going to spread their wings all over the world. I mean, they're bit global, so they're definitely going to be hitting other countries soon. Now, it was previously called BitThumb Global. So if you're looking it up, you're going to run into BitThumb. Now, BitThumb was originally from South Korea, but BitGlobal has in place a registration in this country. I don't know how to say it. U.S. is getting there, of course. Of course they are. 4% of the population owns crypto. But that's not all. We also have some new news from Vault Inu. So it was really cool that I was doing this video. And this popped up. Benzinga. What did I say yesterday? Benzinga is the Wall Street of crypto. So many people read this. A lot of people with some deep pockets that's for sure these are main investors these are big investors we're talking about 
laying eyes on Vault Inu. More and more people are finding out. They're talking about our Bitrix listing, that tier one listing that we got on September 21st. It's huge. Y'all already know these exchanges, these tier ones are what is up. I mean, that's what's going to get our chart up, which we're going to go over here in just a minute. But these articles, these are huge. These are catalysts that I'm talking about that are going to do these pumps on the chart that we're going to get more and more investors, more holders. So when I check out a project, what I've learned is I want to see growth in the holders. I don't want to see the same numbers sitting there because that just means that we're all swapping each other's money around, right? I mean, we need new investors. We need new fresh blood in the mix. Elon Goat Token, being out traveling the nation is going to help Vault Inu get up and out of the bear market. And we've been staying up from the bear market. We sure have. We have been staying up from it. So let's go check the chart. Let's check the B and B side because y'all, I hear you yelling at me. I know, I hear y'all. There you go. My B and B people right here, B and B Vault Army friends. There you go. That's what we're at, 6079, holding strong, holding the floor. Now, Ethereum side. Sorry, you guys, for leaving y'all out all the time. My bad. I won't leave y'all out anymore. Here we go. Eight. We're in the eights. All right, good, good, good. We're going up just as planned. All right, we know we're going to go up. We know. Now, remember, this is whenever gate.io was going to list the first time it went down, but you see it went right back up whenever it listed just on time. And it went down, of course, because of that. Of course, we got Vault Inu is gonna have their own retracement and then the rest of the market pretty much plummeted along with every project was going down. And then here we go, we're going back up. Hopefully we get some momentum going back up, but I think we will with all these catalysts coming out, SmartCon coming out on uh, September 28th and 29th, that's gonna be a huge catalyst for us. Something else, you know these articles, you know these um, Benzinga, and you also have crypto news, you have so many different sources, Decrypt, all these different sources. I can't even name them all, but I just wanna let everybody know that this was a very good exchange for us to get on in Benzinga talking about us and then we have all these other articles comparing us to shiba inu if you're not bullish on vault inu i don't know what's up what do i think is next for vault inu well let me tell you one thing i am bullish on vault inu but let me explain why i'm bullish on vault inu it's because we're getting listed on tier one exchanges we have five more promised to us by december Voltoshi put us on that elon goat token which is traveling the nation getting advertisement for us in news articles all over the internet. It's definitely on Instagram and Twitter. You'll be able to find these people posting about it all over, especially whenever Elon Goat Token gets to Austin, Texas. It's definitely gonna be a hit down here, I can tell you that. We also have SmartCon coming up, which I think is going to generate more articles about Vault Inu. We have Benzinga already talking about us. We have all those articles that I brought up yesterday. Everybody is talking about Vault Inu. Vault Inu is definitely going to be a household name. I believe that Vault Inu is going to make it out of the bear market flying. It's gonna be sprinting past all the other meme tokens out there. We also have Vaulty Change coming up, but we're more so worried about these tier one exchanges. And the reason why is because we'll get more publicity, we'll get our name out there a lot more, and then people will understand more about Vaulty Change and what it's all about. And that's the key, education. You gotta educate people, but not just on our project, but cryptocurrency also. So don't forget to be a good example of this project represent the vault army well i'm going to try to do another late night space cabin tonight last night i don't know all of a sudden my audio was hijacked i have no idea what happened i was online all day yesterday i did two videos i went to el musa's um, podcast show i enjoyed doing that uh, y'all go check it out it was really fun we were talking about some weird stuff but i will try again tonight so stay tuned for that don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell 
Here is a word from today's sponsor of this video, Deeper.network. Deeper Network, a project's aim that is to make a fairer and uncensored internet for all. A project where you can contribute to and operate the network. By running a node, you support the network and earn income via bandwidth sharing. Due to sharing bandwidth, you can also use the network as a decentralized VPN. No need to pay for centralized service providers. Your data, your network.